Hello and welcome to this week's platform meeting. It's October the 15th. I'm going to post the um, agenda into the Sumo channel. And, and I thought about this a little bit. Uh, it seems like the best uh, place for these notes is now the uh, Etherpad light. Uh, for Google Docs, I think you, s you still need a Google account, actually, and it's not really open to everybody. Um, so there's the agenda. Um, let's have a look at the items from last week. We don't have any action items from last week. Um, then we have... Excuse me, somebody pinged me here. Oh. Uh, Roundtable. How difficult would it be to add a printer-friendly friendly view to article pages? Oh, we actually do already have that. Uh, at least I thought we did. Uh, th there is an uh, extra CSS um, that gets loaded just uh, for, for printing. Like if you print, it shouldn't print it exactly as it is on a page. It should print a version that is printer friendly. But I haven't looked at it in quite a while. Uh, Mike, uh, correct me if I'm wrong there, but that, that's how it works, right? Uh, that's how printing to the web in general, or printing web pages in general works, but I actually never looked at that CSS file, so it might be terrible. Oh, I tried printing to PDF, which is what the potential partner really wants. Mm -hmm. So is it supposed, I assume it's supposed to behave the same way, right? And I tried, when I uh, printed to PDF, it did show the sidebars and everything. Hmm. Um, yeah, printing to PDF should work exactly like, um, exactly like printing to paper. Um, and I can see that it is using a slightly different theme, but it's probably not using the best one. So yeah, we can work on that. That should be pretty easy. Should I file about it? Yeah, that, that'd be good. OK, thank you. Yeah, and Joni, if you could also put that on your uh, backlog, then we can prioritize that. Oh, now I'm looking at it. And yes, you're absolutely right. This isn't how it's supposed to work. Yeah, please see me on the bug, Joni. Well, no, it seems like it's mostly OK. It seems like mostly it's just a sidebar yeah, that we need um, to remove. Sidebar. Yeah, and actually, a lot of that um, browsers themselves do some tricks to make things better for printing. So, for example, they get rid of all the colors, and that's that's Firefox doing that. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, I remember working on the CSS file uh, way back. Yeah, I thought it was better back. Yeah, it has probably. Like it's probably fallen out of uh, it's probably probably fallen out of compatibility with the current site because we don't it's not something that we check every time. Yeah, okay. Uh, but it's it's it shouldn't be too difficult. It looks like uh, I mean in, in terms of like it's not completely broken. It's just a sidebar that seems really out of place. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, Joni, if you found about, uh, we can make sure that gets into uh, the next round. Of implementation. Um, yeah, spread. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, we've actually done away with sprints, uh, so now oh. we evaluate uh, the backlog uh, every week. But um, and and that's like I I add things to the backlog every week, which means we evaluate it every week. But that's how it works. Well, the last thing mm -hmm. that makes the backlog, which means what again? Pardon. Uh, so you know, uh, on the uh, in the Etherpad here, there is this uh, link to Edwin. Uh, it's the prioritized development backlog. Okay. So this prioritized development backlog, um, it's not just a, uh, a bunch of, of uh, tasks at the at the top. That's actually a sorted list. Uh, so developers, uh, that, okay. that's how it's supposed to be. Sometimes there are deviations, but that's how it's supposed to be. So developers look at the thing that's at the very top, and if it isn't fixed yet, they work on that one to fix that one. Uh, then they move on to the next one and to the next one. 
um, okay. and the way I and I try to balance that with like uh, things that are on our roadmap and things that are uh, on the champions backlogs. So if you look at that, you you know exactly what we're going to work on next. What you don't necessarily know is when it's going to happen. Um, so the points should give you an indication. Uh, but Mike also has uh, something that he wants to implement soon uh, that would give us uh, like a cutoff point for like, okay, so that that's like in the next two weeks. Or you can then see, is it likely that my thing is going to happen in the next two weeks or unlikely, depending on how far away it is from that line. Okay. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, features like that tend to be the last thing we work on because it's like we'd rather work on Sumo than work on the tools. So um, I, I've been wanting to get that feature done for a while, but it's hard to find time. Yeah, that, that's always a difficulty uh, for us, especially with the team size uh, so small uh, these days. Um, side projects take, yeah. If you work on a side project and you only have two developers on Silver, it means essentially you can only do maintenance. That's not what we want either. So it's a bit of a balancing uh, act. And um, but Mike, it's it's a really great tool. Tony, did you ask about the printing out the mobile view instead uh, as a no, workaround from desktop? No, that that would be much more difficult. Can we simulate the desktop? Sorry, the mobile user ranger from desktop, so we get the mobile view, which doesn't have a sidebar, and just print that. That's what I meant. Um, so no, so no code changes. I mean, I just yeah, yeah uh, that, that's not possible to do without major code changes. Yeah, no, no, us, no, like me as a user, I can like simulate. Oh, yeah, no, sure. Android user agent. Um, I get yeah, the mobile uh, view, and then I print the page out. Yeah, you don't even have to simulate your your um, user agent. Just go down to the bottom of the page, and there's a switch to mobile view button. There is. Oh, yep. oops. Okay, never cool. two years. <laughs> right. It still prints to Heather to roll in. It's not actually totally clean. <clears throat> I tried doing that on mobile. Is it better? Uh, okay. It still has a, like, some graphics from the menu, from the menu yeah. bar. All right. So, is it, is it, so what, are you, what are you guys trying to do, actually? I'm curious now. Uh, a partner would like us to give us a PDF user guide of our KV articles. Because there might be a better way to do that. Pardon? That's there the might user. be a better way to do that. Give, well, basically, the partner would like us to create a user manual PDF based on the Sumo KVR, selected Sumo KVR articles for Android. OK. That's I mean, we can script it, but then it would be ugly. If there was a way to script it that wasn't ugly or something that's half an hour or less <coughs> for us to do, that would be lovely. Yeah, because we can, um, so actually what you want is um, we have an embedded view uh, for this that is designed for showing just the content and nothing else. Mm -hmm. um, uh, buddy, up here, let me go look up how to grab it. Um, All right. Well, I maybe mean, we should take this offline out of this meeting because it only involves right. me, you, and Joey, I guess. All right. Oh, yeah. I don't think the print version looks that bad. It's just the sidebar. If, it, if this is a, a thing that we need soon, I'm pretty, we can just prioritize this. And if you get rid of that sidebar, it should be really not that big of a deal. Um, it looks pretty good. Because, Mike, even if you do that embedded view, if you print it out, you would still have to do some adjustments. Um, yeah. Um, so. Roland, I sent you on IRC a link to the minimal version of an LKB article um, that shows just the content. Okay. Um, and, ooh, there's a bug there we should fix. The share link at the bottom is broken, but besides that... Oh. Um, That's interesting, Johnny. You see that, Johnny? It's you up. Okay, well, uh, I think Johnny and you and I should have a quick powwow about this today after this meeting. And uh, see if we, and then we can also email Mike and give him the full uh, context for this, so that in case there's something easy that he can do as well. Get for this. Does that sound good, Tony? Yeah, we'll give Mike and uh, Kadir the full context, and you and I meet briefly sometime today. 
it, this is good. I think this is great. This is way better than what I was hoping for. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Cool. Uh, cool. All right. Um, so now, for some reason, it switched me to the mobile view. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, if you're stuck in the mobile view, you can. There should be some UI that lets you get out at the top yeah, of the page. The um, oh yeah, it's in the it's sidebar. It, um, in the menu, the hidden menu. Right. That's it. Yeah, you open the menu, and then if that doesn't work, you can put in the URL like question mark mobile equals zero. Ah, that was it. All right. Thinking desktop equals one, but no. Yeah, it's mobile equals zero or one. All right, cool. Um, then moving on to the next item here. Uh, actually, I, I lost my. Uh, sorry, too many, too many tabs. Too <laughs> way too many tabs. Uh, okay, I had, I had it here. So the next, uh, let, let's look at the role of items now. Um, so the first one is unified ask a question flow. Uh, last week when we talked about that, I said that we are almost done with that. Um, we worked a little bit on uh, the mobile article instead. Uh, so the AAQ is not completely done yet. Um, but I think the last thing that we need to, um, that's, that hasn't it doesn't have work started on it is the uh, Google events, like firing events, so we can track this. Everything else has work already started on it. And uh, Mike, I'm guessing within the next two days or so, we should have the finished mobile article view, right? Until next week. Um, I haven't been working on that much, um, but that sounds, oh, sorry. That sounds about oh, right. I'm sorry, I misspoke. Um, the the, the ask question flow? Yeah. Um, I don't know about the status of the upload images, but the rest we should be able to get done this week, yeah. Okay. Um, Ryan is working on the uploading of the images. He said he had already started to work on that. So, mm -hmm. unless that's a blocker, we should have, we should have that real soon now. Uh, the other okay. one is um, mobile article um, page and I think uh, all of the bugs for that are. Oh no, uh, there is one thing that isn't fixed for that, um, uh, and that's the search box. Mm, and right. Rehan has already started working on that. Yeah. So I'm yeah, guessing I think that turned out to be. Next week. Yeah, I think that turned out to be a bit more complicated. I think that that one turned out to be more complicated than I expected, unfortunately. Which is interesting because we already had that. Uh, on the topic landing page. Right, but I mean, yeah. Um, I don't know. But it seems like um, unless there are problems with that, we should also have that next week. Okay. One bug left for that one. Uh, unless it grows to be way more than two points. Mm -hmm. All right, and that would then conclude all of our both of items um, from the previous quarter, and we can focus on the ones for this quarter, uh, which are the KPI dashboard and the article helpfulness. So we actually have a uh, decision on that. Um, so the KPI dashboard 2.0, uh, it has a project page that you can click on to see uh, what that is about, um, and the article helpfulness, I think we've already talked about that before. Uh, so, um, just to be clear, we are going to start working on the KPI dashboard, and um, hopefully we will be done with that and then move on to the article helpfulness. Uh, but it's a little bit unclear in this quarter. Um, so Mike is going to work on the Django um, uh, uh, dependencies so that we can move to a new version of Django, the platform that uh, powers Kitsune, uh, or the framework that powers Kitsune. Um, so that's going to eat essentially all of Mike's quarter, as it looks like. Um, and that, uh, that he breaks that everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so that leaves us um, 
with one developer uh, for the quarter. Uh, luckily, we are getting uh, one more developer. Um, God, I keep forgetting her name. Uh, um, Brittany Storm. Yes, Brittany, yes. Brit 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 yes. Um, and she's going to join us hopefully in November. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so I'm, 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 uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, unfortunately, of course, she can't just start working uh, on big projects the day she starts. Uh, at, at, you know. so, oh, we'll take a, <laughs> uh, so it will take a little while for her to ramp up. Um, and uh, of course, like if you add one more person to the team, usually there's it means that you slow down the other people on the team. Um, so at least for a little while. And um, I'm not exactly sure whether we will be able to finish the KPI dashboard and uh, another project. But if we do, the next one is the article for this. Uh, so it's just a little bit unclear around that. Um, if we only had Rehan, then I would say we can only do the KPI dashboard because we also need to do maintenance for the platform, like the uh, backlog of all of you, uh, the champions backlog. Uh, but with Brittany, I'm thinking we might be able to also do the article help um, Please don't schedule any uh, deliverables around uh, the implementation of this. I mean, you shouldn't generally do it, um, have deliverables around the implementation. Uh, but specifically in that case, be uh, careful. So what we can do is we can do uh, the UX for that. We can get the acceptance criteria done. Um, we, we can already start uh, estimating uh, the cost for those user stories, uh, but the actual implementation, I'm not so sure. All right. Uh, for the KPI dashboard, uh, it's, I, I didn't, I was not very creative, uh, so it's just called uh, version 2.0. Uh, essentially, what we're doing is uh, everybody on the Jimbo team is, I think, aware of that. Uh, we have agreed on a new set of KPIs. Um, that we actually want to use to judge uh, whether we are getting closer to our goal of uh, partnering with our uh, community to maximize user happiness and uh, user success. Um, and those KPIs, we need to be able to tell where they are. Like, uh, are they trending down or up? Or are they stagnant? Uh, do any of our projects have an impact on them? And we need to be able to uh, see that easily. So that's what this KPI dashboard is about. And our current KPI dashboard is unfortunately outdated. It's showing metrics that um, aren't our, our KPI anymore. Um, and there are things missing that are our KPIs now. Um, so if you click through to the project page, you will see uh, in the user stories uh, what, what we consider those KPIs to be. Unfortunately, they're not completely defined yet. Uh, so in, in terms of like how do we get that, um, and uh, that's going to be the next step, like the exact definition of those things. Uh, for example, we have uh, a retention, a contributor retention as one of the KPIs. But we need to define, like, what do we mean? Like, do we mean the contributor retention of new contributors or existing contributors uh, for what period um, and stuff like that? So that, that's going to be the next step there. Um, and once we have that, um, that will be our next um, roadmap item to think uh, Well, one thing, Katir, first of all, I'm not sure if you saw the message from Philip, if you can make I'm the... I'm seeing that now, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I thought it was already public. Very sorry about that. It's all right. Talks is not as friendly as you uh, And I just wanted to add to what Katir said. Um, the, the metrics that we already have there are not going away. Um, so we will still have the information, it's just not going to be a KPI. But it will still be there so it will be visible and everybody can, can still access it. So don't worry about that. Okay, it seems like the only way to uh, to make this public is to uh, let everybody edit it. Uh, 
That can't be right. That that's no different than um, than Etherpad though. Yeah. And Google Docs keeps history, so it won't be a problem. So everybody should have access now. Um, I'm, I'm having a quick look at the helpfulness one, whether that's also... Uh, Kadir, do you um, want it so that uh, people who are not signed in can't edit? No. Actually, I made it editable for everybody. I mean, is, it, is that what you wanted? Sure. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, the thing is, you cannot limit it to people who are signed in. Uh, you can only say people at, Su at Mozilla can do these things, or everybody can do these things? Um, if you click advanced, you can, um, or one of the advanced things, you can say anyone with the link can comment. OK, so I'm clicking on advanced. Um, and who, who has access? Sorry. Yeah, so um, it says anyone with, there's a, it says link sharing on anyone with link can edit. And if you click the can edit button, you can change it to, you can click more. And you can say on anyone with link access um, can comment. Oh, yeah. No, that's true. But then um, people at Mozilla cannot edit the document anymore. Uh, then I'm okay. the only one who can edit it, unless I give specific um, access to specific people. Let's just, uh, yeah, so this is like an Etherpad. Everybody can edit it uh, as long as they have the URL. Cool. If, if anything goes wrong, uh, I'll revert and uh, protect the page. This is like an Etherpad, I don't think so. And uh, the helpfulness is already editable by anybody. OK. All right. Um, so there is a racy chart for both of those projects. Uh, if you feel like um, there's something missing there, please uh, edit it <laughs> uh, or send me a comment, um, send me an email or send me a message. Um, but yeah, so those are, are the, the, the two things that we have on our roadmap for this quarter. Am I forgetting anything? Uh, So, oh, um, but this is a different thing. We are moving off of verbatim. That should probably uh, that should have been a roundtable thing. Um, sorry for cutting it. I just didn't want to. Sorry for just cutting it. I didn't want to scare anybody. Uh, we don't have any particular details yet, but Matias is informing us about this because he's the main person responsible for the migration. So I'm going to inform the uh, local leaders for Sumo about this and the community in general. Uh, but the more details we get in the future, the more you will know about it. For now, we just know that we're going to move off. Yes, and sorry, Kadir, for cutting in. I just wanted to make sure that, yes, I am aware of that. Absolutely, no problem, Michal. Uh, this is definitely something that we all need to discuss. There is there is some fallout for, for us as well, uh, because we are also going to probably move off of SVN. Um, and some people yeah. are using SVN directly already. Uh, we certainly do interface with it. Um, and uh, if we move to GitHub, uh, we would have to um, probably do some changes there. Um, but we don't have much information about that right now. Um, we are waiting for the Elton and team to actually make a decision about some of these things. Okay. Hopefully more of that uh, next week or the week after. Which brings me to um, my next point. Uh, actually, for the roadmap, anything else we want to discuss here? If not, uh, my next point is I will be uh, on PTO next week. Uh, so does anybody want to uh, host this um, meeting? Any volunteers? Otherwise, we can just cancel it and uh, have a meeting the week after. You're gone the whole week, Kadir? Yeah, I'll be gone the whole week. Is there anything urgent? If there's anything, nothing urgent, I just can cancel it. If there's something that's timely for next week. 
I don't think there's anything urgent. Oh, we don't want to miss two weeks, but you'll be back in the two weeks' time, right? Yeah. Okay. I say I vote for cancel. All right. So then we'll cancel next week's meeting. Um, so uh, for for one of the uh, roadmap items, though, Joni, um, I think we still need um, the topics uh, for the new AAQ. Right. Um, and and but that's only um, well, actually, it's already listed there. Never mind. I'm sorry. Uh, I just wanted to, we talked about that this uh, earlier this week, and I wanted to make sure I mentioned that. I actually have a question too about that. Um, so should I delete any old topics at this point, or at what point should I start doing that? Um, are they topics that are used in the current a a a AAQ? In the current AAQ, yes, but not in the yeah, KD. Do not, do not delete those. Okay. Um, yeah, 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 the old, oh, sorry for that. The current AAQ is is and continues to be in use until we say otherwise. Like it's okay. it's the default and it will be for quite some time. Okay. Uh, so once this is actually all um, once all the bugs for this has been uh, fixed, what we are going to do is uh, an A/B test. Um, and after the A/B test, we can um, I mean maybe it's going to be awesome. Hopefully it will be, and then we can just switch to this new one. Uh, but it might also be that there are some issues with it, and then we will fix it and then run another A-B test uh, until we are confident that this is actually better than the uh, previous one. And then we, we can uh, turn off the old AAQ and remove everything related to that. Mm. And I think Mike is also looking forward to that. Definitely. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> um, all right. Any specific bug discussions? Then I would say uh, that this concludes our uh, platform meeting. Thank you, everyone. And I will see you again in uh, two weeks. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a good holiday. Thank you. Bye-bye.